Well, hello, hello. What is going on, guys? Colonel Indiana Longnuts here, and we are going to do our April account overview. I know I have missed a couple months, and uh, so we got a lot of catching up to do. Uh, currently level 145 with Gypsy Danger still, my home alliance. And as you can see, I've limit broke, uh, or should I say second limit broke two heroes already. Um, I have done Anne, and I've also done Obacon. Um, Obacon is a beast, uh... Attack and defense, well over a 1,000, and health over 2,000. He's got that superior revive, which is a pain in the butt. If he revives, he gets a um, extra 50% mana upon revive. So he just keeps going off and off and off. And with the mana gain, he is very good. Um, a favorite of mine. I am pretty big into the Season 1 second costumes. They are really great. And so we're going to go through my roster. But I can tell you I've got quite a bit of these Season 1 heroes done. Uh, my alliance, we are pretty strong right now. Doing our thing. And... Uh, Right now, we have seven days departed for war, and that's always a fun war. Good opponent, and uh, the best in the game. I don't care what Beezer says. Uh, aggressive is not better than seven days departed. I personally feel like Beezer does not know a whole lot about what he's talking about, and he is just a name... And unfortunately, what he says goes as uh, word of the land, and to me, it means nothing. Um, so, we'll go through everything here. Um, I mean, you guys know my whole little city's maxed and everything. Uh, Alchemy Lab, I've got a good stockpile going. Um... 80 days in this one, and 60 days almost in these two, and uh, I'm starting to restock from the event, uh, we'll go through the event later, but I did use a ton, a ton, a ton of items, so we're restocking our dragon attacks now, I've restocked some bombs, um, but... We are pretty low all the way around, and um, we're making some mana also, so we can get back in shape. Um, let's see. I did get a new Titan record that you guys saw in my videos of 902,000. Uh, I wish the Titan was a bigger titan because it would have my best guess is over one million um i'm gonna have to find a fresh six star titan and try and get over a million uh priest in my alliance who you guys see on the mythic titan leaderboard he did go on and beat me and uh get 970 or something crazy uh so he whooped that thing and uh he beat my record right after i beat what i believe was mortegra's i believe mortegra had him i'm not 100 percent sure um but either way mortegra is a beast priest is a beast and i'm just trying to keep up with them we are almost to fifty thousand raid wins and I have finished 2214 Titans out of 3894. Um, I really don't kill them when I'm in the Alliance, but I do um, merc a good amount. Uh, I won't say that. I merc 
maybe once a week and I'll go and blow a few flasks. So when I do, I do kill the Titans 99% of the time. Um, we have some new avatars that I am quite proud of. Um, we'll go back here. Uh, my new avatars that I got from these events are Bubbles, which came from the top 10 in the Legendaries Pets event. Um, I think I was 9th or 10th place there, and we cut it really close. Um, I went to sleep around 6, and I woke up, and I was, um... Kind of shocked I was that far down, but anyways, we got the avatar. I don't have to push there anymore. I will not be pushing for the Hachiko avatar. Uh, that's a very hard event, and a lot of people competing for it, and I don't want anything to do with uh, number one there. Uh, Porthos avatar came from top 100 on the new alliance quest, the Brave Musketeers, and... Um, I took 50-something, I believe, last time. Now, the first time around, I got Aramis and I got Queen Anne uh, for my top 10 placement. I took fourth, and then these came from the top 10 alliance. Um, so I already had those. I took second this last time. I joined... My good friend Carl Juana in Organized Chaos, and we fell to Team Korea, which a couple days later fell apart. Um, and we did not accomplish what we set out to do and take number one, so uh, kind of disappointing. But my newest avatar, Sinan uh, and Toxicandra, and... On the challenge event two, I took number one in the legendary, and uh, that was the hardest I've ever pushed an event, and I'm really proud of that avatar. There's only a few of us that have it. Um, so that avatar and this avatar are both from number one on the challenge event, Um this one being from Epic number one, and this one being from Legendary number one, and um, they are quite hard, but I do rock this avatar, and um, yeah, so that's what I wear. Um, we'll go here so we can look at some things real quick to my YouTube. Um, Challenge Festival 1 in January, um, Legendary, I was 4th, this result kind of hurt a little bit, um, taking number 11, my rightful place, and number 4 there, um, and then this was in February, the Mighty Pets event, I took 16 on Rare, 5 on Epic, I did already have the Duck Avatar, I took top 10 there before, I think it was 3rd or 4th, and uh, that is where I got my Bubbles Avatar, and I think that was uh, probably one of the coolest Avatars out there, uh, Bubbles is real cool. So I was quite happy with that. And then this was uh, just from two weeks ago, eight days ago. Um, like it says there, this is my best overall event rankings ever. Rare, I took 10th. Um, the funny thing is I spent so much time on Legendary that I barely paid attention to Rare and Epic um, until the last night I played around with it a little bit and somehow I wound up in top 10. I don't know if a lot of people were not pushing or I just got some good scores, but all I know is I was shocked that Rare I took 10, Epic I took 9th on, and then this I am quite proud of my number one on 
Legendary on the Challenge Festival 2, Toxic Candra Avatar, the Emilio I do not care about, and that came with some um, materials also as Epic and Rare do. Um, but that was uh, a whole lot of fun. And right after that finished, um, my Mythic Titan, I took the 12th top hit. Um, I kind of miss the old Mythic Titan days where it was straight up teams. This seemed to be a little more straightforward, but not exactly. Still very penguin oriented. Um, 12th top hit. Fourth total top damage, and then the second on the Alliance. Once again, the Avengers beat us, which is uh, a little bit of a bummer, but um, can only do what we can do. Um, so getting back here, uh, we went through my avatars. You guys have seen my troops. Um, this is a new feature here, the museum, which is pretty interesting and we're actually going to start from the very bottom and yes i did my one star heroes i did all the one star heroes and i did all the two star heroes also um they're easy they're quick and they count towards the museum so why not red Rare three star heroes, they are all done. Green three star heroes are all done. Blue rares are all done. Yellows are all done. And purples are all done. You can see that one star, two star, and three star are all complete. Um, now getting to four stars... Uh, they're not complete. I've got two here that are left. I've got to start working on those. Green, I've got two left as well. Blues are all complete. I've done all of the blue uh, epic heroes, so I'm complete there. And getting into yellow, I've got a good amount of work to do. One, two, three, four, five heroes and this costume of Donzaburo. Um, so I've got a good amount to do there. And then on my purples, I have one, two, three, four, five, six heroes to do there. So I've got a good amount of epics left to do. Now... Getting into the legendary heroes, um, I've got a good amount of heroes, but this will finally open a lot of people's eyes to, they think Colonel pulls a lot, and I'm not going to say I don't pull a lot, I pull more than most people, but I've backed off pulling immensely in the last year, um, you can see how many heroes I'm actually missing. And these 69% mean the heroes at 370. Um, so you could see, like, I'm missing a ton of heroes. Now, don't get me wrong. I do have a lot of these heroes maxed. And I have 198 maxed 5-star heroes. Now, a lot of those are duplicates, like I have four Mickey, I have three Alf Reich. Um, those are heroes that I use in multiple situations, and multiples of them are good. So, out of my 198, I do have maybe 180 different five-star heroes max. But we'll go through these. Um, you guys can take a look. Obviously, you know if they're highlighted, they are fully ascended. Um, and if they don't even show, that means I do not have them. If they're sitting at a 69% like that, that means they're at 370. And um, what I used to do uh, before the game was flooded with heroes is pretty much bring any hero to 370 and decide from there if I wanted to max them. Like, you could see a lot of these are heroes of the month, and um, 
they're just not anybody I would ever use. Um, but you could see I've got a good amount of heroes that I've just never maxed. Um, and may never get around to. Um, but I have a good amount that are done. Uh, what happened there? So that's the reds. Um, green, five stars. Um, same thing here. I've got a lot of them. Um, I'm missing a lot of them. And then a lot are at 370. Um, but we're working on it. And after I finish my epic heroes, I'll definitely get going on leveling some of these i did get really lucky and pull costume atamos in the new portal um with a single coin and if you watch my war videos you guys know i use ursina and i actually just pulled her costume on a coin too so atlantis was really really nice to me this time and uh i'm real happy about it i got all the three and four star costumes and i did manage to get ursina and atomos costume um so you could see there's a good amount that are done and a good amount that i'm missing and then a lot of 370 um the ice five stars um i think this is probably one of the most filled out of my legendary um, I do have a lot of ice heroes, but you can still see I'm missing a ton of them. Um, and then a lot are sitting at 370. One hero I really wish I had was her costume, Missandra's costume, uh, giving mindless to one plus is a really really good hero and i did never manage to get it hopefully next time she's featured i can snag one um because i'm not going to level my misandra unless i have the costume um so you could see that and go into the yellows um i've got a good amount of yellows maxed also uh, reason that I have so many yellows maxed is because the Xenol tanks, uh, I do like to stack strong against the tanks, so I do have a lot of heroes that are maxed. Uh, in the color yellow, so you can see I've got a good amount done and also a good amount at 370, but... Again, missing a lot of these heroes. And then the last is the dark heroes. Um, lot maxed, a lot of 370, and I am missing a good amount of these. But I'm at 497 of the 732 heroes, which I think I'm doing pretty well. And uh, I'm a collector. And as you can see, I don't care if it's a one star, two star, three star, it doesn't matter to me. I like to max heroes. Now, five stars do get a little tougher because you do need to use the four star sense and materials for them. And it can get costly and cost you in terms of not being able to max another hero so i won't go too hard on the five stars but um when i do get extra mats i definitely will um max some of these guys um, i do have a lot of good heroes that i could definitely use if i max them but i'm not desperate per se of any of them uh, I wish I had his costume. His costume giving the ice defense down is amazing in all aspects. War and Mythic Titan, and I really wish I had it. Anyways, um, not sure what else we really need to go through. Uh, you guys know my account pretty well. Uh, my war teams are here. 
Here's my new beautiful costume Ursina. And um, this is what I'm working here. My two missing greens, my two missing reds, Danzaburo. And, um, you know, maybe we'll go real quick through the this here. You can see my season five heroes, moon heroes, and then sun heroes. I do have a good bit maxed. Um, season four heroes, they kind of are not as good as they used to be. Uh, they took a pretty decent hit since season five came out. And then we get into season three heroes. I legitimately have one costume from season three in a five star, and that's Frigg. Um, my luck has been dismal to say the least um but got a good amount of season three heroes just need their costumes i have all the three and four star costumes but as far as five stars go frig is it and it's kind of sad um sif and odin thor they all have really great costumes but i can't seem to pull them and i'm not going too crazy into those portals because i have cut back a lot um but there's my two alfreich uh that are limit broken emblems and i have one that's just maxed uh wizard emblems are a hot commodity and i just can't afford any right now um season two heroes my 10 Proteus, they now have a costume, and um, this is with the costume bonus here, and that's without it, so you can see it makes a good difference, and his costume is not too bad, um, all the enemies get half their mana, which is pretty cool. Um, I did managed to get a mitsuko with her costume when she first came out um i would like to max this eventually she does seem like a very good hero uh got my tarlax ready for this mythic titan that's coming up in about six weeks and um i managed to get raz and queen wo wong from the uh covenant summon uh but war of three kingdom heroes these are the brave musketeer heroes kingdom or the clash of knights heroes magic heroes ninjas ninjas i'm hoping to get something decent from this um coming portal i am quite short on ninjas honestly sarandite topaz and cobalt quartz onyx really missing the good ones uh, but six heroes i have a good amount of and i do like them a good amount and then we get into these uh, monster island heroes i got three gore tooth from this last portal and i uh, I, I did spend a little more than I'd like to, uh, admit, but, uh, I definitely sold that chest out. Uh, Bard Heroes, I got a good amount of those. Uh, Circus, and going through some of the older events. Um, these are some of my favorite heroes here, the Teltoc Heroes. Uh, Hippo, Gazelle, Panther, Kong, Chameleon jackals falcons I mean, these are really really good heroes um i have an extra gazelle i would probably get around to sometime um but got a lot of these heroes and you guys know you see i have a thousand heroes um i don't know i have way too many heroes here's a new guy archie uh he's pretty nice i have a lot of fun with him and yeah so you guys have seen all of this my six pengies but anyways 
I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. If there's anything I missed, any questions you have, any comments, uh, leave them down in the comment box. I love hearing from you guys. And as always, make sure we're subscribing to my channel. I have a lot of viewers that are not subscribed. And it does help me out when you subscribe. Give the video a thumbs up. And as always, I will talk to you guys soon. Until next time, nuts out.